Okay, welcome back in the logo intro design we are making. We need to make some cool fade of transition, so we wrap up this entire animation. And for this I will use a nice trick with rectangles and animations to cover up the screen. I go to Insert, Shapes, I select a normal rectangle, I make a really big one, I go of course to No Outline, I select the shape Fill, the eyedropper, and I want the first color to be exactly like the color in the logo. And now I begin to rotate it so it covers up the bottom side of the screen. I believe I need to make it a bit bigger. I move it towards the middle and I start the rotation. Well, this needs some back and forth until I have it done. But as you see, PowerPoint is helping me a bit. By holding the left alt key so it doesn't snap to anything, I move it precisely and I check how am I doing. It's still a bit wrong, it needs a bit more of a rotation. Now we are close, I need to go a bit down, I check it once again, okay it's still not perfect, I make it a bit more, I rotate it a bit, okay now it goes a bit down, I move it towards the bottom with the arrow keys and I think we are done. Now I know it has a good angle and I move it towards the bottom. I press Ctrl C and Ctrl V to copy it and I move it entirely on the top. Now I can start working on the animations. I go to animations, animation pane, I select both of those rectangles, I hit more animations and I select a line animation. As you see they are already slowly coming down but I need to change this. You need to select the object and work with the red arrows. Once you click at the red arrow, it shows you where does the animation finish. I need to grab the red point and point it to the place where the animation should end. You need to make sure it covers the bottom side of the screen, going from one corner to another. It doesn't have to be super super perfect, but it should be. I select also the second one, I go with the red one, I cover this up and now I believe they both connect together in the middle. Now the animations should of course once again start with previous. We need to make them way way slower, it needs to be one second duration and as you see as I selected both they are covering each other up. The last animation will be very simple, it will be an exact copy of the object. So I copy the objects and now I place them on the left and right of the design. I select the second one, I copy it as well, I put it down a bit more to the top, I replace them a bit. The one near this corner, this one a bit more down and now I can alter the animation. I select the end result and just like before I place it to cover up the screen. Well, it's not too precise, so I select it, I lower it a bit, I take the end animation and I adjust it. So now it will come in more straight, I select the second one, I do the same, I check out the animation. Well, this one went better, it's already good and we are most likely prepared to work with the timings. I want the orange one to come first and the second one will cover them up with a black color, which is exactly the color of the background. So I go to Drawing Tools, Shape Fill, I make those black, and those black needs to be the last animation. Ok, I take the orange ones, I go to Animations, and I start delaying it. As you remember, we wanted this animation to have 7 seconds. So now we have 1 second duration, I make it maybe 4 seconds delay, this one will have a bit more of a delay, maybe 4.5 and as I hover my mouse over the animation, you see this animation ends at 5.5 seconds. This is perfect because we can have 2 seconds spare time on the back. Now we have 1.5 seconds spare if we do the transition for 7 seconds long. The animation will flow and let's preview the end effect we are achieving here. And if we need to change something. Also remember that the black ones needs to be on the top in the selection pane. 
because they need to cover up everything. Once you've done that, you should also rename them to, for example, black transition, just to make it easier or something you like. And now let's preview the end result we achieved here. Now this looks very nice and promising. Now we only have to add music and the animation and I believe we are ready. I really hope you are following along, you made those rectangles. If you have any trouble, please go and download this template. You can even copy those from my template to your template and you can work on those. So it will be a bit easier for you.